hello guys welcome back to another series of one lab one patch that is when we click on take pre-assessment we'll be redirected to the challenge lab and by completing that challenge lab you will be able to earn the entire skill badge without any issues first of all click on start lab now click on launch with credits now you need to open cloud console incognito window then sign in using username one enter the username one enter the password lifted on the lab page click on i understand I agree and then I agree and continue. Now on the GitHub repo, I have shared the link. So open the GitHub repo, right click and open incognito window. Now here, and continue. click again on continue now here we have to edit something so scroll down a bit click on the profile link now on I said you click on reproduce daily and same with the You have to enter the table and data set id which is available on task number one so from here copy the data set id and then table id as you can see now click on continue verify the region and then we have to always select the region mentioned on lab that is multi-region so now we will click on create now from the lab instruction enter the name here so now click on create with the cloud shell click on authorize now in the description box i have shared one github link so do check it out run the command now now open iam so for that navigation menu iam and then click on iam You can see we copied the second username here we have to enter on the filter second username select it and click on the pencil icon now click on roll and the second roll should be browser and for data viewer we need to add alert and condition so for the title name we'll refer to lab instruction as you can see on task number three it's no sp2 access only center it now condition type we have to select so click on the condition type tag equals has a value enter the path so now click on save here we have to move forward to the next step for that open bigquery to your project id scroll down a bit and click on orders 
click on edit details now here scroll down a bit we have to make some changes in this so click on tags then select scoop click on select current project for key one select this and for value select no and then click on save so now we are done with this task now we will move forward to another task that is we need to open workbench now click on open jupyter lab scroll down a bit click on terminal now you head over to the github repo enter the link and now open t identify model so now here you need to wait for the kernel status to be idle make sure the python 3 kernel has been selected in case it didn't you can change it via clicking on the python 3 so now wait for restart once it restarts we will move forward to the run all cells so as you can see the kernel is restarted now click on ok and wait for the idle, wait for the kernel to become idle so click on ok now for running all the cells you can either click on the play button or here is a way let me show you you can click on run now let's head check my progress for all the tasks so as you can see we got the full score reload the browser in case you are unable to see now as you can see we got the full score now it's time to ending the lab and lab and let me show you how you will get entire patch so click on back button now as you can see only one lab is showing as check mark so just refresh the browser and you will get the badge without any issue refresh again as you can see we got the badge so you will get a congratulation message meanwhile if you like my photos do like share and subscribe to the channel